bring my nft minting strategy now this doesn't just cover minting either you can use it off when you sleep in the floor when you're buying the floor and getting into a new project now this is something that i wish i learned when i first started out however i was trading cryptocurrency i was trading forex and commodities and stuff like that I used to be a poker player those of you who know me not so i had all these skills but it's like how can i take it to trade and how can i take this aspect and NFT trading to me is, is easy because I'm taking the concepts that I've already learned um, and I'm putting it into these NFT projects. However, a lot of them are fly by night. A lot of them are rug pulls. Probably about 70, 80% of all these projects that are out now are not going to be here in a year or two. It just is what it is. And I'm sorry to burst anyone's bubble, but that's the fact. The sooner you realize that, the better. Because then it allows you to think, right, okay, if I'm going to invest into this project, Am I investing into the long term because I like the art or I like the utility or I like I want to play the game on a metaverse or am I just getting into it for the money? The quicker you understand that and think, why am I trading NFTs? Nine times out of ten, it's for the money. So once you understand that and teach it with a trading mentality and what I'm going to talk about today, you'll go into it with a strategy and you'll go into it with it with an entry and an exit point. You'll go into it with a greater understanding and also you'll reduce money your risk on your money. Now, this isn't financial advice. This is just my own opinion based on my years with the knowledge and what I've done in, the, in this industry and and trading and playing crypto and playing poker and taking gambles and stuff like that. So, and the whole point of this channel, the reason why I've set it up is to educate the uneducated. Um, it's a new, in, it's a new market. It's the next best thing. It's everybody's FOMOing in, but nobody's really doing the homework. And the only way to get into it is to buy a physical NFT or buy a, a digital NFT, not a physical NFT, is physically buy one, right? But then you don't know what you're buying, you end up left holding the bag, and uh, and this is what it is. So I've written a few things down, and I'm going to try and keep the video short, straight to the point. But this goes in hand in hand with the video that we've done on Wednesday. So if you haven't watched the video on Wednesday, there's a little link in the description for that. Go back and watch that, because what I'm going to teach you today and in that other video will make complete sense to you guys, and you'll go... You just get it. It's like a light bulb moment. You'll be like, okay, I get it. And you'll start seeing these patterns. So NFT, the NFT trading cycles, if I just minimize my beautiful face, there we go. So obviously, quick one as well, guys. New channel. If you haven't already followed it, depending whether you're new or old, give this video a like. It helps this strategy, helps all our videos go out to the YouTube masses. And also subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, comment in the comments box, let us know what type of videos you want to want to see, what you're from, any sort of questions, because this is a, a channel for you guys. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to go over to a website here, it's called Dune Analytics. Um, for those of you interested, it's kind of like a free version of um, Nansen or Nansen. It's dune.xyz. And all I'm looking at is the open sea trading volume. So you can see obviously roughly from like January of last year, blah, 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 and then like July and August just went, boom, what's an NFT, right? And then we can see this is the last three months. This is the daily volume. It normally lasts around, you'll see a dip and you'll see up and you'll see a dip and you'll see up and dip, up, dip, up, dip, up, right? Yeah, whether that's everyone's skin after Christmas or whatever, but there's volume coming back into the markets now and it's coming back up. You can then see the monthly NFT sold. This is in the millions, you're seeing that, right? So again, it's, we're starting to create a new baseline now around 1.5, between 1 million, 1.5 million. And then the fees, OpenSea are making a killing. Look at the amount of fees they're making. Um, it is what it is. It's like the same as gas fees on Ethereum. Just gotta pay them guys, but yeah, definitely making some money there. If we go over to a trading, those of you who are new to trading, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm not going to explain my trading view chart. If you want me to do a video on this, let me know in the comments box below. So this is Ethereum on the daily, okay? Um, we'll ignore all this other things for now. Those of you who know will know that it's a, it's a, it's a sick setup, this. Really good setup, really helps me get in and out of the markets. But we can see, we can see the highs. We can see the lows, we can see the highs, we can see the lows, we can see the highs, we can see the lows, we can see the highs, and, it, and that. And it's the same with NFT, it's still trading, there's still patterns. It's just unfortunately, at the moment, we don't get NFTs on trading view because there's too many of them. So we have to use something like this and we have to use activity and just kind of plan it. But what I've learned in trading um, with cryptocurrency and Forex over the last three or four years, the gambler in me from the poker days and all this type of stuff, is it normally, 
a cycle, around about two to four week cycle of ups and downs and ups and downs. So I'm not talking about buying in and trend and riding one up and, and trending and flipping. Um, if you're in for quick flips, great. You'll 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 get this video in a moment. But if you're in it for the long term, um, again, part of this rule of three strategy, then you'll see it goes up, it goes down, and you've just got to either ride it out or sell it at the top, buy in low, sell high, buy in low, sell high, buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. So it's the same principle, okay? Now, a lot of money, if you don't already know this, if you're new to NFTs, and even if you're not new into NFTs, it does help to have a refresher. We all know a lot of money can be made from pre-reveal. So what I'm talking about is, is a project that is just minted a couple of days ago, and we'll go into the minting strategy in a moment. Um, it's just minted, hype comes in, people missed out on the whitelist, or they missed out on the public mint, and they're buying off the floor from the secondary market, and they're buying at somebody who's already 2x, 3x it. So then, depending on the volume, depending on what the project is, it goes up and up and up. And that that's, so for me, if I know a good project's up and coming, this is what, this is the strategy that'll do. If I see that it's trending and people are flipping, I'll buy off the floor. It it doesn't matter. I'm just in it for the money or I'm in it for the rare. If I sell a rare one, and do I say, it, and I fuck up and sell a rare one, so be it, I still made a profit. Just try not to be too hard on yourself. Have an ex an entry strategy and an exit strategy, just like you would with trading. And again, if you've not watched the previous video, link in the description, go back and watch that previous video. It's the same with trading, with stop losses and take TPs, take profit points, um, and pips, same difference. You're 2X in, 3X in, 4X in, 10X in, whatever you want to do. Now, I'll try and see if I can find a project that hasn't revealed yet, um, just to give you an example. Um, what's not revealed? What's not revealed? Is Fluff World revealed? Let's have a look. All right, Fluff World's revealed. I'm trying to think of the ones. There's that many projects now, guys. Um, if you miss out on one, doesn't matter. Get the next one. There's there's always going to be quite. It's always going to be, be more and more coming up. Um, let's have a look at all the rankings because this will just sink in what I'm just on, I've just been on about then. Um, wow, straight to number one on that. We'll check that out. World of Women's picking back up. So anything women related at the moment and women empowerment and stuff, look into them, guys. That's It's kind of a bit of a trend at the moment. People buying into all the women related ones. Um, do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Undead Pastel Club. Now that's been revealed now. Um, do, 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 do. Cake Apes Official. Let's have a look at that one. See, they've all, a lot of these, I don't know about you guys, is anyone else getting bored of apes? You know what I mean? There's a women rise, see, again, look at it, the percentage. Again, alpha guys, alpha girl club, women rise, all these female ones, everybody's hyping into them at the moment. Just check them out. Do your own homework and due diligence on them. Um, Roboto's official, let's have a look at that one. No, I'm hoping to get an example. Um, by the time your videos, I want to do the. I always want to do these lives to show that I'm not bullshitting you guys. I want to show you is that um, Wolf Game. Let's have a look. I'm trying to think any of that I don't recognize. Um, do, 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 do. Let's scroll down to some of the, the new ones that have come up. Um, let's have a look at the next page. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Uh, it's 24 hours my show. Let's have a look at the last 24 hours because we'll see any sort of new volume coming in. Uh, Metaverse Sandbox. D -d -d -d. So Stapleverse Feed Clan. Let's have a quick look at that one. That might be a pre-reveal one. There we go. Yeah, we'll get there in the end, guys. Right. So pre-reveal ones, you'd see like a little place or image, a little GIF. Um, you don't know much about the project or maybe you've done your homework on them. So what happens is, Again, I'm going into the strategy, but the reason why I wanted to explain it to this way, because it doesn't really matter. It doesn't just account to minting. You can make the most money from at least 3 to 10x if you get on the white list of a project, and then you do this, you, you sell it pre-reveal. So if you manage to get in early and you manage to get white listed, buy three. Okay, rule of three, buy three. No, you might you might say, but, but, but Andy, it only allows me to mint two. Only allows me to mint three. 
it allows me to mint one. Right, if it does, it does, it does. Most of them will allow you to mint more than two. If not, buy one off the floor. Just have three. It's, it's, it's up to you. I always try and get three of a project. I'm either whitelisted and I'm minting three. I'm either buying three on public public list or I'm buying three off the floor. And I'll, you'll, you'll understand the method in the madness in a moment and you'll be like, wow, that's ingenious. It's a light bulb moment. You can buy more than three. It works, okay? But for what I'm going to say an example, we're just going to use three of something, right? Now, if you buy off the floor pre-reveal and you're looking to hold it in case it's rare you're gambling let's be honest you're gambling because most projects are ten thousand right you got you might have 10 legendaries top 1000 is where or top 100 even is where the most ETH is made top 1000 will trade on the floor maybe 2000 anything less than that and it's just on commons and people are just going to lower the price the price is going to tank and they're going to see the reveal and go, I didn't want that. It's just 9,900 and something. Boom. And they'll try and get as much of the money back as quick as can. Everybody undercuts each other. This is where the price goes down. So it's FUD, right? So it's, you've got your FOMO coming in. You've got your FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Oh, the project's not going to go anywhere. We don't know what we're doing. Bang, that's where the crash cries. So just like on trading, where there's blood on the streets, there's money to be made. You'll see the cycles up and down, up and down, right? So, try and buy three of a project, and I'll go into the breakdown of it. Just write this down, pause this video. Try and mint three on whitelist, mint public three, or buy three off the floor, right? If you generally don't care about the project, okay, then it doesn't matter. But if you think the project's got legs, which you should be looking into, you shouldn't really just, just FOMO into a project without doing any of your homework first. You should be looking at projects. You should have projects on your radar. If you're looking for the bigger flips and not just a 2x, 1.5x, 2x, then you should be doing your research before, guys. Um, if you're just looking to flip and do the trend, check the video from Wednesday. or it, The link is in the description, and you'll understand a bit more about that. Right, okay. So, what happens at Reveal? We've all been through this now. You get the Reveal. Now you're waiting for the Rarity score to come out. Again, check when the other video because it's all about rarity sniffer and stuff. So you wait for the rarity to come out. Have I got a rare one? I don't know. Have they put it on rarity sniper? Have they put it on rarity sniffer? Have they put it on rarity tools? No. A lot of the projects now will hang off putting it onto rarity tools because they know it crashes the floor. But if they make, if they, so if they're bothered about the, the actual price, they'll they'll hold off a couple more extra days after reveal before it's listed on rarity tools or whatever. So then they know that the price is going to trade if the FOMO is still kicking in because they want the price to go up. Because then that way, once they, once they do the reveal and everybody sells off, the floor price isn't that low. Because what they want to try and do is keep the floor price above public mint price, which doesn't always happen, but you want to try and do that. Any NFT projects out there, you'll understand what I mean. So if it's just about the money, it's just about flipping, if you buy a whitelist, say say that was 0.45 um, at whitelist. Don't know what it was. I can check here. Free minting at um, the feed kind is the first entity in chapter one of Stableverse. Can be tossed into a trade to either join, right? Don't know anything about this project. Not looked in it. You've seen us. We just literally picked it up, right? So if we quenter here, it's either going to be free minting and mint feed. So... So the mint price was not point. There's some still left to mint actually. So you can see here, um, there's 480 out of the 10,000 left, and mint at the moment is 0.1 ETH. Um, if we go back to here, the floor is 0.45. There's a three X. <laughs> I might pause the video and come back and mint one of these, but I'm not. I'm minting too many projects at the moment. But again, if you wanted to, you could. Again, this isn't financial advice. You could just come here, connect your wallet, mint one of them, sell it on OpenSea. If we look at buy low, the minimum these are going for at the moment is 0.44. Okay. Now, is the volume in it? There's volume in it. Is the activity in it? It's trading by the minutes. People are spending up to $1,300 for one of these at the minute. I'm probably going to make a note of it and I'm probably going to flip it and I'll record it in other videos. So 0.1 ETH. So these are still flipping. Whether it's a rare or a not, um, we'll do it. 
I'll probably record it for a new video for Cam by the time we finish, finish this video. So they're just flipping it. For me, I'd be looking at like selling it for at least 0 0.35, 0 0.4, knowing that it's going to get picked up, right? I don't know enough about the project. I've literally three extra money. Okay, so that's what I'd be doing. So that's one way. But say this project is really good and it's going to stand the test of time. I'm going to bring you on to the rule of three. Okay, so, and this stands for anything. Only ever get into projects you can afford to lose on always. Guys, if you are remortgaging your house, you're taking rent money, you're using your wages, and you're throwing it into Ethereum, you are gambling. 100%. Right? The way to make money is to save money. The way to make money is to save money. If you've not done that, put it in the comments box below, reaffirm it, or just write it down on a piece of paper, tattoo it on your forehead, whatever you need to do. The way to make money is to save money. Take your time. Go into it. Do not FOMO into any projects. They're all going to be there. 20, 30, 40 projects are launching a day. 70%, 80% of them are not going to be here in three to six months, nine months. They're just not. So look at it as getting in early, getting out and making a book. Okay. So always get into projects you can afford to lose on always. So if you're putting more skin in the game and you're losing and you're stressing, then it's gambling. We don't want that. We're not educating that. This isn't financial advice, it's common sense, guys. It just do it, okay? Now, if you can afford it, that's just important, by the way, make sure you can afford to purchase three of them. So if I was gonna get into this now, just a 3X, I would get in, I would have at least 0 0.45 in my wallet, okay? And I'd buy three. I'd mint three, so I'd mint three, and I'd sell one. So for example, easier maths. You buy into, what's this one? Staple verse for 0 0.5 ETH. Via mint, off the floor, whatever, it doesn't matter. You buy three of them, so you're in, you've got skin in the game now, 1.5 ETH. Immediately, don't even think of it, don't question it, don't wait for the rarity, whatever. If you see that the floor's going up, immediately, regardless, right? So you can sell the lowest rarity one if you want, it doesn't matter, but pre-reveal, immediately, all weight, hang fire. Again, it all depends on what homework you've done. List one for 1.5 ETH. This way, if and when, so it's a big if, the project, the floor reaches that price of the 1.5 ETH, that one sale has now covered the cost of all three. Yeah? Just, I put, let it sink in a moment. Let it sink in a moment. You've sold one. You've got all your costs back now. You're free rolling, guys. Stress-free, trading responsibly, all your money out. Now you're no longer stressing about what this project does or doesn't do. How big it goes or how well it does is, is, is by the by. You've still got two of them. Whatever you sell them to for now is 100% profit. Yeah? Now you can sit back and enjoy the, pro the project with zero dollars tied into it. It's a massive thing, right? Now later on, this is a big one now, later on, sell the second one for profit that excites you, like four to five ETH. Now you're in the money and you have bank. What I mean by this, right, what excites you? If you're just starting out in NFTs, you could just be flipping $100, $200, $300 NFTs, right? And then eventually you'll buy like half an ETH. Three, you'll buy into, you'll mint nuns at 0 0.2, 0 0.3, you'll sell them for an ETH. Then you'll buy the ones for one ETH, you'll sell them for two. And then you slowly start getting more and more skin in the game. But now you're 100%, you've got 100% profit from whatever you sell. So say you sell a second one, I don't know, $20,000, whatever ETH, ETH at the moment, right? You've got $20,000, cha-ching, is pure profit. No, if the project continues to grow, becomes the next blue chip, which not all of them do, you still have one more. You, that's that's the life changing money. That's the buy a house. That's like retire your parents. It's 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 the it's your boss fuck you money. It's it's that's the big money. It's your crypto apes. It's your so it's your board apes. It's your crypto punks. It's that type of money, right? And if the project turns and goes back down, then all you got to do, guys, is sell the remaining two for whatever you can get from them, and it's still hundred percent profit. That was one of the biggest eye openers for me because I was still, I have a FOMO into projects when it was trending or I'd buy into projects and they were pump and dumps 
or they were rug pulls, and I'd be left holding a bag, so to speak. And I'd have these, I'd have these NFTs that a bag of shit can't really sell them. Not really going to sell them at a loss. Well, you shouldn't sell them something at a loss. You only lose if you sell. But it's never ever going to come back to where it was. You can ride out the cycles, and I hope it comes back. But the majority of these products, that's it. Our project, sorry, is the majority of the money is made on the mint. The developers get all the money from the mint. Thank you. We're just doing this IPO. We're going to raise this game. We've brought out these these apes, and they're different from all the other apes because we've 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 painted them red. And these reds, we're going to create a metaverse universe. <laughs> you can tell I've got a bug bear with this at the minute. Right, we're going to do this metaverse, and we're going to create this game, and you can all play in the game, and you can all do this in the game. We might even do a virtual casino, and you can earn you can earn bananas, and the bananas will make you money. Right. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, what if, right? They have to build that with the money they raise from the mint, from the IPO. So understand that if you don't get married to one project, unless you're in it long term, unless you've done your homework and you believe in it, if not, get in at whitelist, buy three, flip one. Trust me, guys, this works. Try it out for yourselves. Now I'm going to go off and see if I can get into this feed clan. Hopefully, if there's some left, Let's just refresh this screen. Eee, ah, yeah, so there's still some left. There's only been one sold in that. So I'm going to get into this. I'm going to just flip one. And then I'll hopefully, if I can, I'll keep the video recording. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.